Hey YouTube, I'm back once again with some more pickups. Uh, most of what's here I actually got last weekend. I haven't done that much um, much buying, much hunting this last week. I did go out yesterday um, and I just had a walk around the town. Um, but there was very little that, uh, that I picked up. Um, so yeah, we'll just take a look at what I got last Saturday and then what I got yesterday, which was also Saturday. Uh, so firstly, Poundland. We had a new Poundland open. All right. The existing Poundland, should I say, moved to a new premises to a much bigger store. And uh, the old one for months and months and months, ever since even before lockdown, didn't have an awful lot in the way of new Blu-rays or DVDs for that matter. Um, I don't think they've had any new deliveries um, this year that I can remember seeing on the shelf. There just never seemed to be any new titles. And it's because it comes down to the fact that I guess that that store was closing and they were moving to new premises. So it was last Saturday morning that uh, that they opened. I did kind of um, film a bit of footage. Um, actually, most of last Saturday, as I was walking around the town, I kind of filmed a little bit here and there, but it was all, it, it just all looks like junk. So I, I might, if I can, just, um, if I, I'll have a look through it, if there's anything that's worth salvaging and, and fitting in, I'll probably pop it in. In during this video, but um, yeah, it's it's it just, it just didn't seem to work out uh, filming out in town. So uh, I did an intro in the car, and I did kind of an outro in the car as well. Um, but I'm not going to use any of that about anyway. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look at what firstly what I picked up in Poundland, which wasn't an awful lot. Um, so they had the steelbook of Resident Evil Retribution. Um, now, most people know they've been watching for a while. I used to be a massive steelbook collector. Um, but these days, not at all. The only steelbooks I have left uh, after I sold pretty much the entire collection was um, is the Star Wars ones. Even the Arrow steelbooks I had, I, I eventually sold them. Um, but if there's one franchise, I guess, of movies that uh, I'd be more than happy to pick up the steelbooks for, mainly because they're all cheap, or mostly cheap at least, is the Resident Evil series. I love the Resident Evil series. Um, although this isn't my favourite of the movies. Um, for two quid, I thought, what the heck. Um, I don't need to ever open this. I've got the... Both the standard edition and the 3D version, um, so that I'll just stay as it is. Uh, I got Don't Breathe. Um, don't know much about this. I, I want to say, and I didn't, it never occurred to me to check, but I want to say I've probably already got a digital copy of this. Um, yeah, I'll have to have a look at that. And if I have, then uh, maybe I'll pop this in at the end of the video, the digital copy code. Um, <laughs> uh, this one I had to buy um, I know most people are going to say why I bought the first movie in fact I got another copy of the first movie last week not the week before now in the last video on uh, Digibook um, but I've got the first one I've got to get the rest of them um, Fifty Shades Darker this one with the slip cover which I've got the first one with the slip cover um, so yeah two quid and then finally, from Poundland, um, I sold my big sleeve of this a few months ago um, of the all three Jurassic Park movies. So I think I've got, uh, just trying to look up on the shelf to see if I can see. I know I've got one of them, um, Jurassic Park 3. So I've got Jurassic Park 3. Um, so now I've got Jurassic Park, I just need to get the second one to have them all back in the collection. And this is another one I'm, I'm fairly sure um actually i'm not fairly sure i know for sure that i've got the uh the digital copy so 
And if I open this, um, this is new, so this code won't have been redeemed, but it may have expired. If anyone wants to give it a try, there it is. Uh, just let me know in the comments below if it worked or if it didn't work. Um, but if you've tried it, either way, just uh, yeah, just put me a comment so I can pin it to say, you know, someone's used it. I've tried it. Uh, then cash converters. Um, had a few new uh, titles in. Uh, didn't have any yesterday when I was in there. But these were all 50 pence each. Um, a film that I've yet to get to the end of. Um, super bad. I just I just can't get on with this film at all. Um, I'm not even going to say I don't know why. Because I do know why. There's quite a few actors in there that I just don't like. Uh, top of that list is John Hill. Um... All is all. I want to say all. Yeah, I think that's a fair assumption. All these comedian, comedic roles that I've ever seen him in, I've hated, absolutely hated. Um, the only one for certain that I can say that I've enjoyed was The Wolf on Wall Street, and that obviously wasn't a comedic role that he did. Um, but yeah, everything I've seen him do, as far as comedy films, is I just don't like at all. Um, Friends with benefits. Again, these were 50p. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. District 9, 50p. And then this is Game of Thrones Conquest and Rebellion. Again, 50p in a very, very slim disc. I believe this was a, a, a bonus disc with Series 7. Six, no, seven, um, which I, I sold them all a while ago. Um, but I never got around to watching this when I had the series. So I thought, you know, for 50p, I'll grab it. Um, I've started collecting them again across the series. So if I have a chance I get series seven again, it doesn't have this, then I've got it already. But if it does, I've, in the meantime, I've, I've still got that to watch. Uh, and then a bunch of charity shops. Um, first of all, we've got Age UK. Um, and I had a look in there. DVDs. They do DVDs and CDs at 4 for 99p. 49 pence each or 4 for 99p. I picked up four DVDs. Um, so I found a Scooby-Doo that I didn't have and I've never ever seen before. So it's Scooby-Doo Moon Monster Madness. Um, yeah, like I say, I've never seen this one before. It's, uh, I think it's a more recent one. Uh, was it 2015 or 2016, something like that? I'm sure it says on there somewhere. I remember reading it when, there it is, yeah, 2015. Uh, Blade 2. Um, I do have this already, but the one I've got is in a, a thick case. It's a weird case. I don't know why they released it. And they, they must have released it in that case, because I've seen them many, many times in the same case. But this is a two-disc movie in um, a double case. But the one I have is in a, a fatter case with space for four discs. And I don't know why they released it like that. But uh, yeah, so I've, I've got that. It's just, a, I guess, a little bit of a, a space saver. Um, Two and a Half Men, uh, the complete eighth season. This must be quite a short one, because it's only two discs. Um, and I'm wondering if this is the one where Charlie Sheen got sacked uh, part of the way through the season and maybe that's why it's such a short one because uh, I know it was uh, as far as I can remember at least towards the end of the run I think they only did maybe two or three more series after he left um, but yeah I, I don't have many of these I think I maybe have got one two definitely have one or two I think I've got one other of the earlier series as well so Still got a lot of them to find, and then I found yet another horrible histories. This one's still sealed. Uh, measly Middle Ages. Um, this looks to be an animated one. I guess the early ones. This is actually it was a really early one. It's two thousand and one. Um, yeah, the, the early ones. I'm, 
I do vaguely remember seeing them on the TV as animated. And I guess I kind of must have, I don't know, so much as forgotten that as um, I'm just so used to seeing them these days as, uh, as you know, real actors, live action, comedy, uh, mostly comedy sketches, but of course there's the, the movies as well, at a, a full uh, full story movies, I guess. Um, but yeah, I do like the horrible histories. Uh, then these next three came from the Salvation Army uh, for 45 pence each. And I got the snapper case edition of The Whole Nine Yards. Um, I do really like this film. Um, this is a double sided disc, so I'm assuming it's, uh, it's both widescreen and full screen versions of the film, which uh, Warner Brothers and maybe others used to do this as well with. Uh, with with movies, we put uh, the full screen version for those that at that, that, that time still didn't have widescreen TVs, um, as well as the widescreen edition. But yeah, this was uh, at some point it was 99p in uh, cash generators or cash converters. I think that's a cash converter sticker, is it? Or a cash generators? I always get them mixed up, you know. I think that might be a cash generator sticker, but either way, that might be a problem. Um, I seem to remember those been uh, uh, after they've been on a while, not easy ones to remove. And straight away, I can feel with my nails going underneath that. That's that's not going to come away too easily. So I'm going to have to get the uh, the lighter fluid out and see if we can. Yes, yeah, see, that's just not going to come off on its own. And, uh, see what we can do about that. Um, film that I've never ever seen in its entirety um, even though it's probably 30 odd years old um, Muppets Christmas Carol um, I don't know why I've never seen this film it's just I haven't it's never one that I, I don't think that I come across that often out in the wild and certainly one that I've never owned um, but yeah I've never seen it uh, and on Blu-ray, American Pie 2. Uh, these next two both came from British Heart Foundation. Um, so I found Groundhog Day, which was 2 99 which is more than I would normally pay for a, something out of a charity shop. Uh, well, certainly for a Blu-ray out of a charity shop or a Blu-ray movie, let's put it that way. I have... In the past, probably spent more than that on a single item in a charity shop. Um, but I had a look actually at this on in CEX and CEX sell it for a fiver. So I thought, you know, three quid's not a bad, uh, not a bad um, price. And it comes with the slip cover, um, and it's numbered. Um, are these Sony ones? Yeah, the Sony. I'm not entirely sure what this collection is called. Um, I'll let us say there. Uh, special edition. So these just so many special editions. I don't know. The only other one from this series I've got is Taxi Driver. Um, but yeah, this is like I said, it's number sixteen. Um, I don't think these come with a digital copy. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have got Groundhog Day. I really like that one. Um, I wasn't sure about picking this up, but at first, um, although. This is Happy Ever After. It says uh, the complete collection. Um, now, Terry and June, which is a sitcom starring both these two actors, um, playing, I'm pretty sure, these same two characters. Um, and this was a series, from what I can gather on here, that came before Terry and June. Now, I do have, since, since looking at this, I do have some kind of... Uh, slight recollection of seeing something on um, TV, certainly not in the 70s when this was around, but maybe in the 90s on UK Gold or something um, of this. And I, I do have a couple of series of Terry and June on DVD, but this is the, the complete set of Abbey Ever After. Um, it's 4 .99. The discs aren't perfect. I don't think there's anything on any of them that will... Uh, stop them from playing but um, they certainly weren't perfect and 
it's probably going to be difficult to see. Um, yeah, like I say, this. Hello. Um, but yeah, one thing I did pick this up and kind of put it back down. I picked it up again a second time. I thought, you know what? I wonder if this is worth anything on uh, on CX because sometimes obscure British TV sitcoms can be quite valuable on CX, especially if they're complete sets. And this uh, this sells for twenty five quid on CX. I was quite surprised, um, but I'm not I'm not going to trade it. I'm going to keep this one. At least I'm going to watch a few episodes first, and then maybe make a decision. But uh, yeah, as it turns out, a five over the bargain for that. Uh, and that, I believe, is everything Stockton. Um, and at that point, I decided I'm going to have a ride over the Thornbury. I've got a bit of a, I kind of had the bug at that point. So, yeah, I decided to have a ride up the Thornbury. Um, was it my first time? The second I want to say this is the second time I've been over to Thornaby since since lockdown. I can't remember now. But anyway, there's three charity shops there. Um, first one was Budwick Hospice. Um, and I picked up for 50p uh, Harry Hill's TV Burp, the golden box set, which uh, has TV Burp Gold and TV Burp Gold 2. These are just like... Um, Clips, I guess, the best of uh, Harry Hill's TV, Burp TV show, which used to be a, a staple for many years of uh, Saturday evening TV, which was always a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I'm quite uh, intrigued to, to get back into them. Actually, a nice yellow case there as well. Um, I've got a few uh, uh, shameless... Um, DVDs, a few shameless, yeah, uh, I, I bought a box set of, of shameless DVDs a while ago now, um, and every one of them, the, uh, the hub inside smashed, um, so, yeah, I've been looking for some yellow cases, so actually that's, that'll come in handy, um, and then someone to have a matching clear case in there. Uh, and another TV show. This one I don't know anything about. Um, Second Thoughts. Uh, now this is the complete fifth series. But it's a network release. Um, and when I saw it. There was uh, Julia Sawala in there. I thought you know what. I'll give it a go. Actually James Bowden as well. I'm a pretty big fan of James Bowden. He's normally pretty good. Um, but this was 25p. So I thought you know what. For 25p. I'll grab it. Who knows? I might find some of the others. Um, but if not, it's there. Um, also for 25p. Um, this is one I will get on Blu-ray at some point. But Bohemian Rhapsody, it's a film that I've uh, been itching to see. Um, so like I say, for 25p on uh, DVD. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and this one was supposed to be 50p, but it had a gift aid sticker on it. Which lady, the lady, they, they, they always take the gift aid stickers off, I guess, to put it in a book so they know what they've taken in in gift aids. Um, so almost famous. This is a, a, a special edition, um, a director's, director's, yeah, director's edition, collector's edition. It says director's edition there, collector's edition there. But it's got two different versions of the movie. It's got the standard... Uh, theatrical version and the director's uh, obviously the un un uh, unlimited so untitled the untitled extended cut uh, thirty five minutes of never before seen footage um, but I like this movie um, now whether that's extended versions on the Blu Ray I don't know I don't actually own the Blu Ray but yeah this is one of those charity shops that charges you extra money per disc. Um, but she said, like I say, it had the uh, gift aid sticker on with 50p and she asked me to take it off, I guess, because she didn't want to take it off. Um, and then as she was putting them in, she put that one in at 50p and those three in at 25p each. So 
got it for 25p uh, then I moved on to Mind, which is the next charity shop. Um, and there was no prices on almost anything as, as far as DVDs are concerned. I went up to the counter and asked the, the young lad that was behind the counter what the prices were. And he just said, oh, they're a pound. Um, so I continued looking through and found another series of Second Thoughts. This one being series four. Um, I did mean to go on IMDb and check, see how many series of this. I can't believe there's five series of a TV sitcom from what must be the 90s, maybe the 80s, um, that I've never heard of. Um, and picked up literally two, two different series in two different charity shops in the space of about 15 minutes. Uh, and then I got a Blu-ray. Um, this one being turbo wasn't the 3d edition unfortunately but uh, that's okay um, managed to redeem the uh, digital code which uh, is always a good thing so I was happy about that uh, then these three came from what's the next one Bernardo's and they were three for a pound um, and again, the first of these three is a, another Blu-ray, um, Keith Lemon, the film, um, wasn't my favourite film, if I'm honest, um, I'm not keeping this one, this will go onto the uh, the pile for uh, Peter for his uh, prize draws, um, but yeah, 30, what, 33 pence, uh, another film that I've never seen. Um, again, I'll probably end up getting on Blu-ray at some point, if, especially if I enjoy it. Um, American Graffiti, some uh, Harrison Ford and George Lucas. So uh, why not? 33p. Uh, and then this one, um, going into CX Trade, Iron Man 3, uh, trades in for a quid. So it pretty much pays for all three of these. So that was everything last weekend. Um, yesterday I had a walk into town, um, had a wander around the charity shops, cash converters, all, all the charity shops are now reopened in Stockton High Street, um, and the first one I went to was Budwick Hospice, and there's a couple of Blu-rays on the shelf there that I kind of hummed and hard at, um, but I mean they were a quid, so I should have really gotten had. What I suspected, but I don't know for sure, is a HMV exclusive edition of Inception, which has the uh, lenticular slipcover. Now, I spotted one on eBay not that long ago, um, which is an HMV. It says HMV exclusive with lenticular slipcover, and it's got the HMV exclusive sticker on, on the front, and it uh, has quite a few pictures and the picture on the back or of the back should I say showed the same barcode as the the one I saw in store but the one I saw in store in the charity shop um but that one didn't have the HMV exclusive sticker on the front I don't know for sure whether it was or not but I guess for a quid I probably should have got it anyway and my intention was to go back um and when I they they have weed opening hours this charity shop now they open from half eleven till half past two um and when I was in there the first time I was leaving probably about one o'clock so by the time I got down the other end of the high street and back it was way past half past two but the other one was a double set of um Rise of the Planet of the Apes and uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes so it was it was it was Dawn of the Planet of the Apes with a free copy of Rise of the Planet of the Apes in a, a set together with just a, like a, I've got anything similar. Um, yes, I have. So if you imagine two Blu-rays together like that. With the... Something like that on the bottom, also obviously fatter so it'll fit two Blu-rays in, so it was sort of on the shelf. Obviously it didn't say Star Wars, but uh, that's what it was. I, I have a feeling it was an exclusive to one of the supermarkets, 
um, possibly Sainsbury's or Tesco's or something like that. Um, it wasn't sealed, so it didn't have the uh, you know the exclusive to wear ever on it. But I have a feeling. So it was it was Dawn of the Planet of the Apes with Rise as as like a, a free bonus Blu-ray, um, which ironically uh, I picked up there without even realizing uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, again, it was only a quid. I really should have bought it, but I didn't. Um, now the way my hours are this week, I don't get out of work till two. And the chances of getting back into Stockton, parked up and to that charity shop before they closed this week at all is uh, probably 0%. So unless they're still there on Saturday, which I very much doubt, um, and I probably won't be getting those, sadly. Um, but it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, but as it turned out, I didn't buy anything in there. Um, the first item I got, um, so I went to Sue Riders, which was the next one down the high street, which has just opened this week. Um, didn't really spot anything. They had a few Blu-rays at a pound, but there was nothing in the way of, nothing in the Blu-rays there that I, I really wanted um, I had a quick scan through the DVDs and again there wasn't anything I wanted so I moved on to uh, the next one which was British Red Cross there was nothing in there um, cash generators cash converters rather nothing in there or nothing new in there oh, which meant there was nothing um, that I wanted um, but it wasn't until I got down a few more charity shops to uh, the second Budwick Hospice, actually, uh, as, as it goes, um, and their shelf has reduced considerably when it comes to Blu-rays, DVDs, CDs, games, whatever. Um, and the pricing, just, it's, it's for whatever reason, their pricing compared to the other store is, is always pretty bad. But they had a few Wii games and there was two in there that I thought, hmm, maybe they're worth something. I give them a scan. Um, the first one was a platformer. I can't even remember what it was, but it was it was like a 60 pence trade, um, which they were asking £2.50 for, so it was no good. But uh, this one turned out to been worth getting. Uh, it is 101 Party Mega Mix. Uh, 101 look try that again 101 in one sports party mega mix for the Wii uh, it's £2.50 um, trades in at £6 so that'll be going in today if uh, once I get this film probably guess this film once I get this video recorded um, this and the other few bits that I've got will be going into uh, CX um, there's a uh, Something on my wish list that's appeared in CX in Middlesbrough. It's the only one in the country that CX own, but it's 30 quid. Uh, and right now, I don't have 30 quid's worth of trades. I mean, clearly, I've got 30 quid's worth of trade if I just grab stuff off the shelf, but I'm not going to do that. I mean, I've got this, I've got Iron Man. Um, I've got a couple of other bits and bobs that I'd already put aside to trade when I up to the Metro Centre, but I still don't think I've got 30 quid's worth of trade. So I might have to cherry pick one or two things that I can maybe uh, get back at a, 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 another time. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I, I really, really want to get that, uh, that set. I'm um, undecided, um, but yeah, six pounds as a trade. I'm happy about that. And then on the way back to the car, I decided to have another look in um, Sue Riders, um, and again, there wasn't that much. Um, but as I was looking, the guy came out and started restocking the shelves. There wasn't an awful lot of space, but he brought out a couple of Doctor Who's. And Doctor Who's at three for a quid, um, or if, if they had as part of a three for a quid, um, I thought it was great. So I got the two Doctors and the Sunmakers. Um, 
I'm sure I must have seen this because as a kid, um, Tom Baker was, was my favourite Doctor. I, I absolutely loved Doctor Who of that era. Um, I wasn't so much into Doctor Who by the time Colin Baker came in, but I have seen the two Doctors since then um, a couple of times. It's it's not a bad story. Um, I think once I probably start watching this, I might start remembering it, but as, as, as far as I can see now looking at it, and I haven't even read the back to be honest, I don't recognise it. Um, but yeah, for got 33 pence each and I was happy to grab them um, ironically these do have a bit of a trading value but I'm not going to trade these in um, I did ask the guy when he was uh, restocking if he had any more of these out the back and he went to have a look and sadly there wasn't so uh, I spent another 15-20 minutes going through the DVDs trying to find something to go with those two because I really couldn't find anything I ended up uh, grabbing Honestly, I don't even know what this is. It's Australian for sure. Because um, it's got the Australian uh, rating on there. I mean, it even says on the back it's an Australian show. Uh, Frontline, uh, Series 1. It's a two disc set. There's a, there's a quick synopsis on the back there. and I guess episodes... there we go so that's that's literally four things I found yesterday uh, and the rest is all last Saturday wow crikey 30 odd minutes um, I don't know if I can split this into two I'm not in fact I'm not even going to try and split this into two um, yep yeah, I've got nothing else to say um, but I'm going to check something and I'm going to come back. Right, so as I thought, someone had given me a digital copy of this a while ago. So, uh, somebody can maybe just try and make use of this one. There we go. So once again, um, this was brand new, so it uh, it definitely hasn't been redeemed. It may have expired. It says there 2019. So officially, it's uh, it says it should have expired. But these quite often go on way beyond their um, expiry dates or redeem be redeem before dates, I should say. Um, so there's a very good chance it probably will work. Um, yeah. So like before. Um, if you can just leave us a comment below, just say you've tried it, um, and whether it worked or if it didn't work. Um, that would be great. Thank you very much. Don't breathe. So that's it. We're done for another pickups video. I'm going to go in there. Um, now last time, um, it was quite a long video and I, I just mentioned to give the video a thumbs up if you got to the end now that video did get i think more thumbs up than usual so i'm pretty sure a few people must have got to the end and done that or maybe just more people like that video i don't know um but what i would say this time because a few people did this in the last video and it probably makes more sense um if you managed to get this far and got through all my uh wittering and and noise and <laughs> the rest of it um yeah just just leave a comment below to say uh got to the end something like that that'd be great um so once again uh, thanks very much for watching i uh, will definitely catch you in the next one Ta -ra.